So this is question 19, 2011 paper 1, Higher Maths. We're given a selection of uh, diagrams, I'm not showing you them just now, uh, and we're to choose the one that represents the graph of log to the base 3 of y equals x. Now, this is rather a back-to-front looking equation. Um, let's write it the other way around. Let's just write it as x equals log to the base 3 of y. And normal thinking, let's do a bit of thinking over here. Normal thinking involves a graph being y equals log to the base 3 of x. This is familiar territory where hopefully you would uh, end up uh, sketching the normal log graph uh, crossing the x-axis at 1. In this case, because it's base 3, would be along at 3, 1 for this point here. Um, that's familiar. This seems all back to front. We've got x where we had y, and we've got y where we've had x. Now that's one, noticing that is one method of solving this, which I'm not going to do straight away. I'll show you that at the end. Um, the other method is as follows. Given a log statement, um, let's just call this a log statement, Every log statement can be written as an equivalent power statement. And I'll show you this uh, uh, as, a, as an example. Where, for instance, power statement 10 squared is 100. The equivalent log statement would be the log to the base 10 of the number 100 is equal to, the log is 2. Now you can see this is the log, the 10 is the base, and so this number, rewriting it as 10 squared, we're saying that the log is actually 2 if the base is 10. So it's another way of writing 100. 100 written as 10 squared. The base is 10, the log becomes 2. The log is 2, base 10 of the number 100. So power statement, log statement. You should be able to take any power statement, for instance, b to the power c equals a, and write it as an equivalent log statement. So log to the base b of this number a would be equal to C. So you should get familiar with that and be able to do that easily. So let's go up here and just see what's going on. Log to the base 3 of Y is this number X. So we would be able to write Y as base 3 and the log is X. So there's the equivalent power statement from this log statement. Now things become slightly clearer now. This should be familiar. Powers of 3. You get what's known as an exponential graph, which crosses at 1, 0, 1, and because it's powers of 3, uh, if we were along at 1, we'd be up at 3 the height. Sorry, that's 1 and that's 3. Uh, just saying that 3 to the power 1 gives you 3. So there's the familiar exponential graph, base 3. And because this is equivalent to that, then this is our answer. Um, if we look at the, the various answers there, um, we can see that we're into choice C for this one. So choice C.
So let's now look at a slightly different method for doing this question. Well, the first method that I've just shown you could be called an algebraic method of doing the question. The second method could be called a geometrical method of doing this question. So we're going back to the observation that if we write this equation as it is, x equals log to the base 3 of y. And thinking of, as we said earlier, thinking of the, the normal way that a, an equation writes, well, normal, more, more familiar way of writing this equation would have the x's and the y's mixed up. And uh, this graph, as we said, typical uh, log graph would look like that with the x and y axis there. So because the y and the x are swapped, uh, I'm going to swap the axes round. So where we have a y there, we'll have an x. And where we have an x there, we'll have a y. Now, this would mean that I could draw this graph identically to this. All that's happened is that I've swapped the two axes around. The roll of x and y have been swapped around. The roll of the x-axis and the y-axis, x-axis, y-axis, have been swapped around. So this is not a familiar form of a graph. We usually have the x-axis the x along here and the y-axis up there. Now, this would be obtainable from this graph if we flipped the graph. You imagine this graph being on a, a sheet of glass. And I flipped the glass along this axis. Um, the resulting graph would look like this. Now, of course, the y would be printed all differently because uh, we'd be seeing through it from the back. So let me just write it the right way around. Uh, and this, there's the axis that we've flipped it around. This would now, if you give it a wee bit of thought, would look like that. And crossing it one there would cross it one there. It, this is the familiar power graph. Um, and just checking that if we do have, in this case, a value of 3 for y, um, log to the base 3 of 3, we know is 1. So that would be the point 3, 1. Uh, when the point 3 along 1 up, imagine this was a triangle, three units along, one unit up, and if that's flipped, it would go there, uh, looking like this, where the three is now along there and the one is along there. So we'd get to the point one, three uh, on this graph. So this is the more familiar uh, one, and it's identical to this. So the required graph is that, 